Hi guys! So today I will show you my favorite improvements for the TiVo Tarantula. As you know, I made lots and lots of improvement videos. Some are a must-have, while others are a nice to have. So which ones are really needed? I made my list, of which, in my opinion, make all the difference. I divided the improvements into two different categories, upgrades and add-ons. In this video, I will cover the add-ons. The brackets are very important because they help to make the structure more stable and stronger. The most popular are thingy rocks. When you download, you get the complete combo. I only use the bottom corner ones, and even those I modify them. I remove the bottom so that the metal profiles lay flat on my wooden base. For the left one, I also added a stability support. For the right one, I added a support for my Optic Z home sensor. To secure and maintain the squareness of the bottom cross section, I designed these corner parts. I don't use the top brackets because I prefer the carbon Z motor mounts and L-shaped ones. The belt tensioner, I think it's obvious. I only have one installed in my X-axis because in the Y I simply pull the motor assembly back and stretch the belt. This is very easy to print and to use. If you plan on printing with PLA, this is a must. There are tons of different designs you can choose from. I tested a few and this one was the best from my tests. Check the video description for the link of the video where I test different models. This one has a good performance and does not block the view, which I think it's great so we can check how the first layers are coming out. Manual level or auto level, it does not matter. You will need to adjust the heat bed at some point, and these will make the job much easier. This, for me, it's an important add-on. It has so many advantages that I had to add this to my list. Some of them are You don't scratch or damage the heat bed. You don't mechanically stress the heat bed. I will talk about this in the upgrade video. You can have a couple of them and have one always ready to swap as soon as the first print finishes and immediately start another print. And finally, if you have a warped heat bed, the glass will help to maintain the planarity. And that's it! This is my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts and leave your comments below. If you have a different list, let me know, share with me. And if you like the video and want me to make more of these, hit the like button below.